Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate the latest tech. Today we have with us the Samsung 2021 AU9000 Crystal UHD 4K Smart TV. So first things first, let's open it up and see what additional items we have. Just inside the opening you'll find a few accessories such as the power cable, the standard and universal remotes, operating instructions, a decorative cover and two legs for the stand. From looking at the box, the overall size is quite large. But once you cut the securing tape and plastic, the top of the box just slides off quite easily. The stand comes with four screws that slot in and tighten effortlessly, and once it was secured it was quickly onto the setup stage. I found that the power cable was a little bit short and fitting the wires into the tidy slots was a little bit fiddly, but it's completely worth it for the end result because it looks quite clean and smart. The setup part's always quite lengthy, especially considering all of the connectivity features and personalisation available, but if you're not quite ready to log into everything just yet, it does just allow you to skip everything and set it up later. So right from the start you can see that this TV is super minimalistic in design, allowing it to effortlessly fit into any home. It's perfect for wall mounting and even sitting close to walls on a stand for more space, which is great in small and narrow homes. Here you'll find no messy cables and wires as the back of the TV houses an inbuilt cable tidy to channel cables neatly to the sides and down the stand for a cleaner look. It opens up so much more potential space around the stand for consoles and soundbars without risking getting any cables tangled or dislodged. It's really nice to see an affordable TV utilising that no cable design so I can get that same minimalistic look that comes with the higher end TV models. The bezel around the edge of the screen is so thin that it's almost invisible, giving that beautiful full screen effect when watching movies and gaming. Here on the back you'll find an array of ports for connecting multiple consoles, hard drives, computers and TV boxes. There's two USBs, three 2.0 HDMIs with one EARC, an Ethernet port, an AV connection and a common interface slot. The Samsung AU9000 comes in five sizes, ranging from 43 to 75 inches opening up the possibilities of fitting this brilliant entertainment system into any size home. In terms of display quality, the AU9000 boasts a dynamic crystal clear colour and 4K picture. It's clear to see the rich, vibrant colours on offer here. It makes everything I watch seem lifelike and realistic, even with the large size of the screen. I can even see the crystal 4K processor at work here, as no matter what I put on to watch, it scales the quality up nicely to make it comfortable viewing. On top of all this, we have a complete HDR display powered by a HDR10+. Movies look absolutely brilliant as this tech offers the finest detail, adjusting to the truest brights and darks in every scene so you never miss a moment, letting you see the movie just as the director intended. I found it works fine in low light and even in daylight, and it was easy to see those dark TV and movie scenes with little trouble. I was surprised to see the speed of upscaling at work here. When watching older movies, I could see the adjustment coming into effect as the upscaling pops into play, sharpening the picture and boosting the colours and contrast instantly. You'll be interested to see that the AU9000 has some interesting sound features. Utilising the object tracking sound light AI technology, it simulates sounds to deliver 3D audio effects that truly bring the cinema experience into your home. I think it's incredible how Samsung have worked a powerful sound system into such a slim device. I find that for regular viewing, I don't necessarily need any additional speakers to get a rich sound quality, so I can maintain that free space around the screen. If you ever find yourself changing the sound settings for everything you watch, you may be interested in the adaptive sound feature on this TV. It automatically adjusts to whatever you're watching, from levelling the audio on your game to enhancing the crisp layers of audio in the latest films. The AU9000 has some great built-in smart features for keeping you connected across all platforms. It's easy to reduce the amount of gadgets around the home when you have everything you need on your display, from multiple voice assistants to control your home tech, to the Samsung TV Plus that offers all the latest on-demand content and apps to effortlessly switch between subscriptions without relying on consoles and TV boxes for all your favourite shows and movies. So one of the best things I've found about this TV is the inbuilt voice assistant. All you have to do is press this little microphone button up here and you can ask your assistant anything you like. Hey Google, what's the weather like today? If you're one of the many now working from home, you also don't need to tether yourself to the limited screen space of your laptop or desktop. I find having the freedom to connect my PC, keyboard and mouse remotely to a large TV extremely helpful as I'm free to sit comfortably wherever I like and see my workload clearly. 
choosing between your phone and TV screen is also no longer an issue, with some of these handy mirroring features you'll find on this new model. Of course, it comes with your usual mirroring capabilities that allow you to throw your compatible phone screen directly onto the TV. But now you can go that one step further with the multi-screen feature. Splitting the display into your phone screen and TV screen, I can now check stats, news or anything relating to the show I'm currently watching without missing the action on screen. Though I found this feature only really works with Samsung phones, there's many ways to cast your phone onto the screen using mirroring or AirPlay features. So as an iPhone user, I needed to use the app or AirPlay or screen mirroring features on this TV. But when I first tried to connect, I had a couple of issues. But simply by resetting the Wi-Fi features, it picked up the TV instantly. And when I opened YouTube, the AirPlay settings came straight into play. Of course, Samsung have thought about the gamers here by adding some helpful gaming features to give you the one-up against your competitors. Just set your TV to game mode and find your consoles automatically syncing with your TV to work in harmony and give you the ultimate gaming experience. The game view features give you that much larger 32 by 9 screen ratio for height and depth, detail and that little extra field of view to catch your opponents before they catch you. On top of this, you can utilise the game bar to switch settings quickly in game without needing to leave the game. All gamers suffer from lag at one time or another, but with the auto low latency mode, your TV will know when it's time to play and adjust your picture settings to reduce input lag, doing its best to keep things running smoothly. Alongside this, the motion accelerator turbo feature delivers a high refresh rate of 120Hz to reduce motion blur for smooth gameplay and overall enhancements to your entertainment. I found hardly any issues between playing high and low performance games, giving me plenty of options to alter the settings throughout play. I thought the additional gaming features really helped me tune the display and performance to adjust gameplay in a way that was comfortable for me. So after seeing all that this TV has to offer, I'm relatively impressed with all of the modern tech that's packed into this super slim entertainment system. You always want the best picture, and having a TV that adapts to everything you watch to bring you the highest quality really makes it worth the money. The colours are bright, the picture is smooth, and I love being able to stay connected effortlessly without having to endlessly connect wires and external devices. Of course, this TV works best with accompanying Samsung branded devices, but I find it also works just as great with my iPhone and plays games directly from my console with ease. So what do you think about the 2021 Samsung AU9000 Crystal UHD TV? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to join us in keeping up to date with the latest tech.